Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Red Collectors. And today we're gonna to take a look at a brief history of Bleem on the Dreamcast. Bleem was a PlayStation emulator specifically designed to emulate PlayStation games on PC and the Sega Dreamcast. Originally designed by David Herpolsheimer and Randy Linden, they both envisioned a time where emulation can be had by the masses. Bleem planned to release a Bleem pack or a boot disc that contained 100 PlayStation titles to be playable on the Sega Dreamcast, with future Bleem packs to be released in the future. Due to the Dreamcast's controller limitations, certain games that may be on the Bleem pack that required controller inputs may not be fully playable. Huh? Bleem planned to release a PlayStation-style controller to work with the Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> As technical difficulties grew, Bleem ultimately scratched the Bleem pack and instead focused on releasing three boot discs of popular PlayStation games. Gran Turismo 2 released May 1st, 2001, Tekken 3 released October 31st, 2001, and Metal Gear Solid released October 30th, 2001. Each would run at 640 480 resolution, while the PlayStation resolution was stuck at 320 by 240. This drastic improvement showcased by Bleem as a powerhouse even outdoing what the PlayStation 2 was capable of with its built-in backwards compatibility. Sony quickly sued Bleem, claiming that the emulation company was in violation of Sony's rights by providing PlayStation games to run on its competition. Fortunately enough for Bleem, the court sided with the emulation company, stating that Bleem was in fair use. Sony quickly looked at Bleem's retailers. Stores like Walmart, Best Buy, and Target, to name a few, Sony tried pushing their retailers away from carrying Bleem in order for these retailers to secure upcoming PlayStation 2 orders. With the constant suits that Bleem was facing and a drop in revenue, Bleem folded due to Sony's persistent attacks. But wait, there's more. Bleem has seen now a resurgence of interest and is making a comeback, but not in the way we know it. Eco Interactive, the company known for publishing games like 3D Noah's Ark and 40 Winks, has bought the rights to Bleem and plans to turn Bleem into a digital game service marketplace similar to Steam or GOG. I currently only have two of the Bleem packs that were released on the Sega Dreamcast. I'm missing the Metal Gear Solid version and that's the one I actually really want the most. You can buy these in this format of the disc CD jewel case. I've only seen Gran Turismo in this envelope style, of, but I've seen all three of them in this one. I'm looking forward to actually getting the Metal Gear one because that's one of my favorite games of all time. And a funny thing that really caught my eye was there's a lot of little written stamps that are on this that are pretty funny. An example is to the neglected but forgiving friends, spouses, significant others, and above for being patient and not killing us, the folks at Sega for making a great console and being cool enough not to sue us, and Sony, even though they're suing us. It's a little cool piece of history seeing how Gleam is an actual thing and that emulation was a huge part of what gaming was back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Bleem felt that if you bought the disc, you had the right to play it on any surface you wanted to, be it PC or another console rival to the PlayStation. Were they right in thinking this? Please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Do you guys have any of these Bleem packs? Which one's your favorite one? Metal Gear Solid's always been my favorite, so I'm looking forward to getting that one in the future. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks, guys.